Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Van Build series and today I'm going to be working on the wiring. So the first thing that I want to do concerning wiring is the cables for the solar panels. So I have this 20 meter solar wire. I need to get this somehow from my roof into the van. I got this little thing where you can get the cables through some kind of uh, rubber seals. So it's all water sealed and glue this to the top and then I drill a hole through the ceiling and get the, the cables through there. Well yeah, I need to drill another hole. Hopefully for now, the last hole they have to drill. Yeah, let's get to it. I've been living in my 1979 Mercedes camper for two years now. I love that van, but it was itching me to do my own conversion. Alone and without any experience, I sold my old van and started with my very own van build. So up on the roof now, and this is the spot where I want to attach the string. Probably gonna place it here somewhere. So I want to drill in here so that I can put the cables in there. And in here, there's already here. There's like a tube for the cables that run all the way down, and out of here goes out, and then it's underneath. And then the charger and everything will be in this position. So first I need to drill a little hole. I need to do this first so I can use the bigger one afterwards. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. It's actually a good spot. I have to take care of any of these. So that's good. Nice. Yes. Okay, here's now the second size. It's not the final size yet either, but you know, to take it slow. That's fine. Let's, let's get the big one. Well, I decided to make it even bigger, so I'm gonna use this one. This is the biggest one that I could find in a toolbox. It's, look, it's huge. It's this big. This is my hand. It's gonna be a big hole, but I don't want the cables to be squished in there and rub against the sides too much. So that's why I'm making it as big as possible. the hole. It's not a very pretty hole, but you know, it's functional. So I'm going to treat the edges a little bit now with Hamrite again. Yeah, my favorite substance. That will hopefully smooth out these edges uh, a little bit more. And then I'm probably going to put some tape or something around to protect the cables. They're going to go through there. And then the hole is done. Quick update on the hole. This is what it looks like right now. Oh, can you even see it? So here's the hole. It looks very black and like nothing right now. But I put one of uh, the rubber seals in there that was included in the middle of this thing. And I put black like, Sikaflex around it. And I might have overdone a little bit with the Sikaflex. Looks really ugly from the outside, but it's gonna go on the top, so I hope it's gonna be all right. Yeah, so there's the rubber ring around it. Like I said, it's pretty ugly, but the hole itself is nice and the cables are protected and that's the that's the most important part. Now I'll let this dry and then I can glue this on top. It's pretty much dry now, so now I'm gonna clean the outside and so glue this thing on here. This one goes through here. Okay, this is how, about as far as I want this to be. And now the second one. Now this is all in. Now I just have to glue it on there with some super flex. All right. All right. 
And now I will let down uh, the thing here so it gets pushed on there quite nicely. All right, I need to uh, remove you guys up here. This black thing down there is what we glue to the roof. This is something that sits between the black thing and the deck and that should press it down to make it dry really nicely. This is what this looks like from underneath. So the cable goes from here into there and then it goes into some tubing that I put in there. Now well, you have to go all the way down and out here and then out here. Right now it's just dangling down the other two pieces of the cable and yeah that's it. Now we have a cable that goes from the outside to the inside. Yes.